Training in safety comes before the ship has even moved from the dockside. Right, my darlings. What you got on now is a safety harness and a safety line. OK? They are yours for the duration of the cruise. Whenever you go aloft, that's up this mast, up the main mast, and especially out on that bowsprit, you will wear them. Is that clear? Right. In a few moments, you're going to go up here, you're going to go through the crow's nest, and you're going to come down the other side. Your watch leader will be in the crow's nest, but she's not going to help you. Right. Now, climb in these. These are what we call rattlings. Piece of the rope, in the, tied on in the centre, seized on on the outside. As there is a slope on these masts, or on these rat rattlings, if you stand in the same angle as those and try to climb, your knee comes up underneath there, look, each time. So you get nowhere. So you stand slightly out. And as you are slightly built different than I am, all right, as you walk up, it brings tears to your eyes. <laughs> Same with coming down. So stand upright. Lean slightly back if you wish. Simple, isn't it? Anybody got any queries? Now, Rachel, off, off you go aloft, my darling. Now then, anybody frightened of heights? If you've never been aboard a ship before, let alone sailed no. in one, it can be daunting right, to climb go. aloft and look down from now over 60 do feet up. Watches. Nobody has to, to do it. Take Although almost everyone is apprehensive to start with, you could count on one hand the number of trainees over the years who haven't, in the end, thoroughly enjoyed the experience. Off you go. Come on. And you, come on. Right, and you, come on, off you go. And you, come on, come on, don't know. <laughs> Even when we had to just go up to the crow's nest, I was petrified, I was like this. <laughs> but I'll go up there again any time. <laughs> You're not kicking motorbikes. Familiarisation with the ship comes from the moment a new crew steps aboard. We get them on the Sunday and they sign on. Four o'clock, the captain has them all down the half deck, gives them a talk, what we're going to do, the training we're going to do, and then we set about them around about half past four. Now then, I get a watch, the captain will have another watch on the bridge. Tell them how to steer, what it means by starboard 10, starboard 20, midship, and we get them to steer. When you're aloft and you're working, you only use it when you're stopped, obviously. You then unclip it, you clip it on something. For the first 24 hours after they're signed on, these kids just don't really know what's up to hit them. They really don't know what's hit them. They've set sails, they've done runner drill, they've done firefight drill, they've done man overboard drill. And then at two o'clock in the afternoon on the second day, we take them to sea. And working together is a must. The mechanical power on board is reserved for the anchors and cables, and there are a couple of winches. For the rest, it's hauling by hand.